What's up, Raw fam? So we all know that this beautiful pond behind me, right here, has been out of commission for a couple of months. Now, I used to have beautiful koi fish and mollies and platies and a bunch of gorgeous little baby fish inside of this little pond. Guys, what is the best way that we used to catch beautiful, gorgeous fish? You guys got it? A fish trap! Guys, we all know that I'm like the master at fish traps, and guys, I can make a fish trap out of almost anything. So I was thinking, hmm, guys, what is the best way that I usually catch the most colorful fish for those fish traps? And we all know, it's a Lego fish trap. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get out of here, we're gonna run over to Walmart, and we're gonna go to the Lego section and get some Legos so we could build a fish trap. So I'll see you at Walmart. All right, Raw fam, so we're over here at Walmart, and as you guys can see, we're in the Lego section. All of these beautiful Legos right here are totally epic, but guys, there's only one Lego box that I actually have my eyes on. It's because it has the most pieces in the entire store. There's like a thousand 500 pieces to this puzzle. It's gonna be totally fun, so what we're gonna do. Well fam, we're gonna probably get this beautiful box of Legos right here. We're gonna build a fish trap out of some Legos. So, I'll see you guys back at the Raw Fam. All right, Raw Fam, so we just got back to the Raw Fam. We're over here inside of my filter system. What the heck? The pond that we're stalking today is right behind me. And of course, Raw Fam, we have our Lego kit right here. This Lego kit has 1,500 Legos inside of it. I'm gonna try and see if I can get my hands on it. Oh, okay, that was kind of easy. I think the Raw Fam's been uh, working out a little bit. I don't, I don't know, you ready? Oh, look, look in there. Look in there, look at all the freaking Legos. That's crazy, you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, look at all the Legos. Guys, that's insane. These are all the Legos that we would ever need to build anything. We could use gray, we could use blue, we could use white, or we could use green. Raw fam, what do you guys think? Um, hmm. Well, I like blue because I'm wearing a blue colored shirt, kind of, so blue it is. We're making a blue Lego fish trap. Um, hmm. I need something to put all the Legos in. I need like a little bin. Enzo, find me a bin. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going on an adventure to find a bin. Franklin, what size? Oh, there's a Fortnite blaster. A what? You talking about that? Yeah. But this doesn't look like a bucket. Give it to me and then go. Okay, okay, okay. Because it's raining as we speak. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I can't find a bucket. Find a bucket. I can't. Find a bucket. I can't find a bucket. What are you doing? Find a bucket. Where's the bucket? Where's the bucket? Where's the bucket? Find a bucket. Find the bucket. Find the bucket. <laughs> It's raining and it's lightning here. So we're gonna send it back to the studio. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, let's try it again. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. All right, guys, so we have all of our Legos. The storm is almost gone. It's, I mean, it's kind of gone. We changed up our clothes a little bit, guys. Remember, I was soaking wet, um, but it's time to build this Lego fish trap. All right, guys, so first, let's separate the good Legos from the bad Legos. We can't really use this for our fish trap. It really wouldn't be that good, but this will create a good little wall and we could line this fish trap perfectly. And that would be literally epic. So this little bugger, we don't need that one. So let's build this thing. All right, here we go. Oh, how dude. Bro, these are all the most perfect Legos. Those are literally gonna make a wall. All right, so what I'm gonna do, make our, our work area nice and clean, just like that. Boom, boom. Everybody say Ayo. Ayo. Got him. All right, so these are just extra, just in case we don't have enough to build this, but I think we're gonna do pretty freaking good. So let's build this thing.
Oh my gosh, Rolf. And so the little fish trap is done. It's literally looking so perfect. Now, what we really need to do, I think, is kind of make it a little bit harder. So just put a, a little mini obstacle right in front, just like this. Stagger the entrance like this to make it hard, just on one side, okay? Just like this, okay, I'm gonna pop this off. We're gonna go just like this, okay? Now, little fish can still get through, but I need to have a side that when I pick it up from the other side, all the fish don't go pouring out, okay? Because there is two entrances, okay? And then we're just gonna put one. One little mini Lego. That's like the little door. This little side is perfect. And now, are you guys ready for the roof? Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And does it look good on your side? Yes, sir. Okay, and here we go. I'm gonna keep pushing it down on all sides. Oh my goodness. Nice. Bro, it looks so good. Bro, it looks so good. So, this is our beautiful mini Lego fish trap. It literally looks so freaking good. I'm honestly so excited um, with all of the, the weather and, and, and different stuff we had going on today. This could not have came out any better. I'm literally so excited. All right, Rob, so we made a mini Lego fish trap. This thing is totally dope. And honestly, Rob, fam, I'm trying to get back into fish traps and all of the fun stuff we used to do. So if you guys have any amazing video ideas, guys, leave a comment down below. And who knows, I might actually favor your comment and make that video one day. So without further ado, this fish trap is done. And guys, this pond behind us, is almost done filling up. Let's go look at it. This is the beautiful pond right here that we actually just filled up. From the beginning of this video, this thing was completely empty and up till now it's actually ready for fish. Um, a little bit, we're actually gonna put a filter system on this and get this going, but I don't think we need to do that just yet because we still have to go do our Lego fish trap now. I don't wanna just put any ordinary fishies in here because most fish, whenever I put them in this epic freaking pond, they end up breeding, having a bunch of beautiful little babies. And um, yeah, it usually gets out of control. So I don't wanna just put any ordinary fish in there. So we're gonna go make a beautiful Lego fish trap to catch beautiful, colorful fish. Now, I don't wanna just go to any crappy little canal and get some nasty little fish that's gonna produce ugly babies. That wouldn't be good, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I wanna get very high quality babies. And I think I have a cheat code on how to do that. Now, we're still gonna be using this Lego fish trap because guys, fish are attractive to these bright colors on these Lego fish traps. Come with me. We're gonna make our way over to one of the ponds. If you guys know anything, there is gorgeous fish inside of this pond. Guys, who knows what's hidden and lurking in this pond. So we're gonna make our way over here. And oh, look, look at all the little fishies right there. You see, there's like hundreds of different little species of fish in here. So whatever we catch out of this pond is what we're gonna put in this other pond to see if we could get them massive and have like millions of little babies. So come with me. We're going to take this Lego fish trap, you see? And the back of it is actually um, Legoed in, but the front only has one. So what happens is, is we're gonna put a bunch of bait inside of here, and then hopefully all the fish that are used to eating this bait is gonna swim right in the fish trap and we're gonna catch them. Alrighty, Raw Fam, so we have a little bit of food and we have our Lego fish trap. All right, guys, let's do it. Now, I'm gonna grab some of this food, okay? I'm gonna put it inside of my Lego fish trap. See that? Okay, I think this is all the koi food and, and different little flakes that we would need. Okay, now what we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna wanna put some weight on it so it doesn't float, and we're gonna put it right over, come, come where I am, come where I am. Look at all those fish right there. There's like 50 fish right there. Did you see them? All right, I'm gonna put this inside the water. Okay, we're gonna sink this down. Okay, those fish might be a little scared right for now, but if we slowly but surely back up, they're actually getting closer. Come over here where I am. 
Oh, did you see them? They're literally looking this way. They're gonna come over here soon. Check out all of this. But we're gonna make our way over here because if they see us interacting with that fish trap, they're not gonna go in. Probably most of those fish were probably caught in a fish trap originally and then put in there. So whatever we catch is gonna be connected to this filter system, this pond right here. And fingers crossed, Rolf, that we get something colorful because I know we have some epic fish in there. So. Guys, I think we need to just keep our distance. Every couple minutes, I'm gonna walk over just like this. I'm gonna <gasps> Bro, they're literally going to the fish trap. They're getting so crazy. Look, they're right next to the fish trap. They're all going to the fish trap. <gasps> they're all literally right there. The fish trap is right here. Okay, they're, oh, they're, that's going in it. It's going in it. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 back up, back up, back up. We're scared of him. We scared of him. We scared of him. They're literally right there. Chill out. All right, Raw fam, we're gonna give it five. <laughs> minutes. We're gonna give it five minutes, and we'll get back to you because they're literally already in the trap. Yo, Frankie, you ready? I think it's ready, dude. Was that the timer? Yeah, yeah, five yeah. Minutes? All right, guys. So, um, I guess um, fingers crossed. I don't know. Um, let's let's go take a look, buddy. Oh, they're, they're all our coco Yo, are they there? Oh, my Were they there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come right here. So if we do end up catching one, we have to have a spot to put it. So we're gonna float this inside the pond, okay? Does it have enough water in it? Ugh. Let me see, I'm gonna float this inside the pond right there. So that if we do get one, I could just immediately come over here and put it right in, okay? Bring this right over here. It's gonna happen really quick if we do get one, okay? Please, please let this work. I don't want to be doing this all day. I'm gonna have to grab really close, okay? Look at them, they're right there. Okay, three. I don't know. I don't know if we got one, okay, come on. We're just gonna go like this. I don't hear anything bouncing around. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on, little bugger. Anything? Oh, oh, oh! We got one! Oh, we literally got one. It fell right out. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Guys, look how beautiful it is, guys. It's a blue African cichlid. Guys, it's so gorgeous. All right, I'm, let me put it inside of here. Okay? Come on. Come with me. Come over here. Okay, guys, so we got our first little fishy right here. We're gonna put it right in. Oh my goodness, guys. We caught a gorgeous African cichlid, okay? Look at him. There he goes. He is so beautiful. Hi, booger. Oh my goodness, bro. That was so easy, bro. It literally went right in. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Okay. One more, a little bit more water. Okay, I think that's perfect, okay? Bro, do you want to do the trap again? Yeah. That was literally so freaking easy. that's crazy. Okay, so we caught one African cichlid. Look at him. Hi, booger. Hi. Oh my God, bro, that was so good. So we're gonna do the trap one more time. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is maybe make the holes, maybe punch this out. Oh, okay. So we punch this out, okay? And maybe now some of the bigger fish can get in. Bro, that's a little bit bigger of a hole, right? Bro, you you'll that? catch everything okay, in there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's bait it. Let's bait it. Come, 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 come. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to put a bunch in here. Okay. And we got to start chumming the water, okay? So I'm going to go like this. All right, Rolfim. So this was everything we need. I could see you. You can see me. Let's try it again. Okay. Go like that. All right, guys. Look, look, look. They're already coming over. They're already, they're already coming over. Do you see them all? Oh. Okay. My goodness, here they're already going to the trap, and we're right here. That's the trap. They're all right. Look, they're going in the trap as we speak. They do not care. They are ruthless. Bro, this is gonna take 30 bro, seconds. Bro, they're hungry, bro. <laughs> this is gonna take gonna 30 seconds. All of them, dude. All right, guys, so this is gonna take 30 seconds. Bro, how, how long do you think? Dude, not even like 10 seconds, bro. <laughs> we ain't gotta wait that long. All right, all of them. So, um, once all of the bait is literally go done out of the trap, um, what are we gonna check it in like two or three minutes? Hey, bro, this is not gonna take very long. So, hey, let's go. Fingers crossed. Let's do it. Think we should check? Yeah, dude, uh, I think so. It's been a couple minutes. Yeah, but for some reason, they're not really around the trap. You sure? They're, come here. Come from my angle. Look right here. See them all? Even the catfish isn't even over there. Yeah. I mean, look at the trap. Do you think there's something? Oh! Whoa. 
What? Oh, what? Come, what? Come look. Come look. Come look. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Yo. What? No way. The heck? What is that, dude? Bro, the car like nudged Ooh. his way in and he was trying to eat. I guess something that was in there. Come here. Oh my god. Come here. Look at this. Look, he's literally there. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh look. Yo. This. Look, oh. he was eating this. He was eating that? <gasps> look, there's he was red spots. He was chasing <laughs> it. He was chasing he was it. He was eating it. Is he alive? Oh my god. He's alive, bro. Look at him. Um so we 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 had this gar from a really long time ago that we caught and I forgot that he was in here. And bro, he just went oh savage on him. Now you have to be careful because these guards have really big teeth. But look, he was eating this gorgeous oh thing. He's trying Jordan. to eat him out of my hand. Okay, you, sir, go back. Oh, oh my goodness. Bro, let's see if this guy's still alive. Come here. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh my god. My. Oh, that guard was a savage. Oh, 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 no. Come no. on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Please, please live. Please live. Please live. Please Come live. On, bro. That car messed him up bad. Look at him. He could, he could barely live. Come on, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna see if maybe the water, the temperature difference, I don't think it might be too much for him to handle. I want him to live really badly. This guy was like one of my favorites. Oh, man. On. Oh, <gasps> Come on, fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. Come Please, on. Please, buddy. Guys, if there's one person that doesn't like seeing animals suffer, I don't like seeing it. I would rather take him out of his misery and feed him the jaws if he's not gonna do good. Let's just take a little, couple more seconds. Look, take a couple more seconds and, and see how he's doing. And he might be able to recover. Uh, now, I, I wonder what happened. I, I, I really don't know. Did he just get like, just like suffocated to death? Was he in his teeth? Well, I've he never was probably seen- probably getting beaten up by it, bro. He was bro. inside the cage with him, Guys, dude. let's go look at the evidence, so come here. So the evidence is so far that this thing got blown up. Blown up. Bro, he broke out of it, dude. Raw well, fam, I don't know what to say. I've never had something like this happen before. We have caught a gar in a fish trap before, um, and we know that they're predators, but this, breaking the whole fish trap, what? Raw well, fam, I'm gonna need your guys' help. Guys, comment down below what do you guys think happened. I think it's pretty obvious that the gar was chasing the other fish and that, bro, the gar was perfectly fine. The other one was messed up. Let's let's check on him. He's right here. Do you need help, buddy? Oh, poor buddy, dude. Hi. If I could pick him up with my hands, he's not gonna make it. And I don't want that gar. I mean, I don't know. Are you all right, dude? No, I'm fine. It just sucks. Um, all right, Raw fam. So we do have that other one. We're in and out of rainstorms. So let's take this other little booger and let's release him into his new home. I'm sorry, buddy. I tried to get you a friend. Like I really did. Like this guy was totally so epic. This is a male African cichlid. Um, he's so beautiful. Come here, booger. Hi, buddy. Look how beautiful he is. So this guy is doing amazing. I mean, he really is. We floated him in this pond for a little bit, so he's completely acclimated. And look at this. I'm going to let this little booger go into his new home. Bye, booger. Guys, what should we name this guy? He's going to be the first African cichlid or pretty much the first fish in this pond. So I say we name him Blue. You like that name? I love that name, dude. All right. Bye, Blue. Welcome to your new home. Look. Ooh. Look at him. Bye, Blue. I'm sorry, Blue, that I wasn't able to get you a little friend to, you know, compliment you inside this pond, but guys, maybe in the next video or whatever, maybe we'll make a bigger fish trap, and guys, now we have a new issue because honestly, Raw Fam, that gar needs to go. So we're gonna have to probably catch that gar out, do something with him. I, what? What the heck, gar? That literally sucks so bad. So I think we might have to scoop him up or do something with that gar. Guys, comment down below. What do you guys think we should do with that gar? I mean, I don't know, bro. Should we like get back at the gar and like 
Maybe put him inside the pond with Jaws, because bro, we, we both know that if Jaws gets a hold of that gar, that gar ain't gonna be living. So maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe in the next video, we'll catch the gar, put him in with Jaws, and bro, that gar's gonna be donezo. That's who you get, Mr. Gar, for messing with my favorite fish. So, well fam, comment down below. I, guys, I really don't know what to do. If you guys think that we should throw Mr. Gar in with the bass, leave a like on this video. And if this video gets a bunch of likes, we will definitely get back at Mr. Gar. Raw fam, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And honestly, Raw fam, that just shows you how crazy my life is.